So I've been super busy lately and I'm sorry I haven't had a video out in a couple of weeks but I thought I'd try to do kind of a uh, just down and dirty video. Um, kind of the type where I don't clean up in the fish room and I don't uh, clean the glass or anything like that. Just kind of give you guys an update on what's going on. Uh, the reason I'm sitting in front of my reef tank here, um, even though I'm going to do kind of a fish room tour of the uh, freshwater tanks, is that I'm heading to Aquashella this weekend, and that's a festival in Dallas, Texas, that combines saltwater and freshwater. So I thought I would just give a quick uh, uh, shot of the reef tank. It's doing real well. This is 125 gallon, um, and I've also got the bio cube, which is bouncing back. I'll do a separate video on that later. But if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area this weekend, March 30th and 31st, make sure you check out Aquashella. I'm going to have a booth there for Aquatic Support Systems. That's the company that I run that sells fish food, shrimp food, and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, and I'm going to try to take part as much as I can in the YouTube booth like I did at Aquatic Experience last October. They're going to have an awesome booth there too, so make sure you check it out and meet all your favorite creators in the fish tube community. So. Um, again, check out Aquashella Aquatic Support Systems. We got a booth, and then check out the Fish Tube booth as well. And uh, everybody else uh, that's there as vendors or, or uh, speakers or things like that, it's going to be a great time. You don't want to miss it. So check out Aquashella. All right, let's get on with a quick uh, fish room tour, and I'll kind of give you guys an idea of what's been going on, and we'll go from there. All right, so we're going to start in the office this week uh, with Cheeto and his wife. Um, same old story, hanging out in the pot looking like they want to breed, flaring at each other, tail slapping the whole nine yards, but uh, no spawning. So we'll continue to monitor that. But he's just a fun fish to show, fun fish to have in my office while I'm working. Um, great wet pet, if nothing else, if I don't ever get any good fry from him. But we'll see what happens. I mean, check this out. <laughs> you know, if that's not pre-spawning behavior, I don't know what is. But anyway, same old stuff. Um, 90 gallon planted is doing well. A little bit of algae on the glass just because I haven't done maintenance lately. Uh, tore out a bunch of Monte Carlo and Aerial Vietnam and uh, sold that at uh, the Minnesota Aquarium Society Expo this past weekend. Uh, thanks to anybody that uh, is watching this that was at the expo and came by and said hi. At the, at our, you know, I had a booth there too for aquatic support systems. Big success, sold a lot of plants and shrimp and products and uh, just a real good time to meet a lot of people and, and stuff like that. So um, if you're in the Minnesota Twin Cities area and you missed it, make sure you go next year. They do a yearly event. This year's was a little bit different than usual. Um, instead of a normal fish show where people show their fish and get judged, it was more of an expo, kind of an educational experience with a ton of good speakers. Um, mostly local speakers, but um, at any rate, um, it was a good time. The fish room is a total mess right now. Um, I got product that I need to stock and unpack and get inventory and stuff like that. A couple of boxes here from Germany. Um, but the fish room's doing good overall. Um, the Trimax, um, since my last video, I think I showed that they had spawned again. Three or four spawns now, but they ate all the fry before I could get them out of there. The Midas down here, I got stuff blocking it, so I'm not going to try to get in close. They're doing real good. A lot of people keep asking me if I've got these Midas fry available for sale. Unfortunately, I don't. I'm going to keep this whole batch for myself and grow something out and see what we can come up with. Um, and kind of go from there. The, uh, the 210 stack is doing good. We got the Umbies below. There's Optimus and his female Matrix. They're both doing awesome. A little bit of um, spawning behavior with them too. I have a feeling something's going to go down in the near future, but uh, a lot of people recently too have been asking if I've got fry from these guys, so I'm, I'm kind of getting the vibe that Umby fry are not as... Uh, abundant in the hobby as they once were and people are looking for them again so we'll uh we'll try to grow out a batch one of these uh one of these next spawns here but look at that bad boy all right so up above is the uh i call it the arowana tank but <clears throat> there's a bunch of fish in here i got the moda male this guy's just a stunner and he continues to grow and impress and then the female she's doing <clears throat> real well also then I got a group of six black belts in here that have colored up nicely. 
And then of course there's the silver Iwana with the massive drop eye, but I don't care. He's a fun fish to have. I call him Beaker. And then we still got this Midas in here as well. Watching him or her grow out. I don't remember if I did a video since the black peeling kind of went away and now she's just kind of a solid peach type color. And we've got the clown loaches and somewhere in here also is the uh, the shear, the biker, the bircher, whatever you want to call it. I brought him from upstairs and down, brought him down here. Uh, Magnus and Beast, they're still doing well over here. Uh, one of the last videos I did I was talking that he might be sick. He had some white stringy poo. That's since been um, taken care of and he's good to go. Um, Beast, she's still the same old, same old. Hangs out a lot over here. They get along a lot better than they had been. But, uh, you know. I don't think they're ever going to spawn again. They're just going to kind of live out their days in this tank and, and go from there. But anyway, um, <clears throat> the reddest latest tank, he's got a little bit of hole in the head developing that I just noticed here um, yesterday. And I'm going to start working on some treatment for that. A lot of times just up in the water changes can really fix that so we'll see what happens but if I need to treat them with meds we'll do that and there's the female and then the Seboldi in here some of them have really started coloring up nicely there's four in here now the bigger ones were killed this one especially looking really good and they're out quite a bit more than they once were they're not hiding anymore the latest don't seem to pick on them they're just uh, kind of jerking around in my camera movement here but and I'm not sure if this is hole in the head or if he just hurt himself. A lot of times when she's in this tube, he'll try to get in there. That almost looks like a wound. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. If that's the start of hole in the head or if that's a wound. Comment below. Comment below too what your favorite fish in this video is. Uh, the Feste pair. They had a recent spawn, but they ate the babies before I could pull them. I moved the silver dollar red hooks over here as you can see there's only four left after the uh, something in the other tank they were over in the 210 something killed them I don't know if it's the arowana or the moda but it's probably one of the two um, so the festes are doing good um, just kind of hoping that these guys start spawning regularly and then I'm able to get some fry and make those available to the community the Trimax, same old story, haven't decided what I'm going to do, but for now they're just in here, all of them are alive. There's been a little bit of uh, fighting going on, you can see this one here is a little bit damaged. This big dominant male is kind of bothering some of the other subdominant uh, bigger fish. But you can see he's finally coloring up compared to some of the other ones. So I don't know if he's got the hots for one of the females in here or what. I'm not sure, but maybe these, this is a male and female pair right here. Or not pair, but that they're kind of showing off for each other. Because they're really the two most colored up. And going by the damage on this one, it's possible that he's been picking on her because he's uh, got the hots. I don't even know if that's a female. I'm just calling it her for now, but haven't sexed him. Uh, what else? Uh, the red magma flower horn up here. Looking real nice. Oh, let's get back here. I named, I don't do this a lot, but I named the, uh, oh, I didn't even show you the uh, Hadiensis. This is Max, or Maximilian. Give me, give a shout out to Cyber Aquarius for coming up with that name. And then the female's Midnight. I think I might've mentioned that before, but they haven't spawned in a while, but they've been doing some, uh, some stuff lately that's making me think that they may spawn coming up here real soon. Trying to get a, uh, a good side view of the big guy here. He's wanting to look straight forward at us today. I don't know why. But he's doing well. All right, let's go back over here. I showed you the red magma. Um, King Comfa 9.9, .9, doing real good. Colored up real nicely lately. 
and uh, hanging out with this Pleco buddy that I put in here. The Midas pair down here, doing well, no spawning, same old story. I just don't want this video to go too long, so I'm trying to keep things short. And then the uh, the Moda Mail, same story. Um, he's been a lot more active lately. I found out that the heater was broken. I didn't realize it, and the water was really cold. I hadn't really stuck my hand in there. So um, I did, and I realized that that was probably why he wasn't as active as he should be. Um, but anyway, that's kind of what I can tell you right now. Um, again, Aquashella this weekend, March 30th and 31st. Make sure you go check it out. These guys that put these festivals on, Sean Hale and, and George from uh, Coral Fish 12G, from what I understand, they did a real good job on the Chicago one, and this is the second one now that they're, they're, they're doing a, a different city in Dallas. And it sounds like it's just a, a really fun festival and it's really growing, and I'm looking forward to taking part in it. Come by my booth, Aquatic Support Systems, and say hi. Uh, stop by the YouTube fish tube booth. Um, I'll try to be there at some point too, but there's gonna be a ton of great creators there um, To talk to and say hi and kind of it's it's really fun at these festivals to meet some of the people that you talk to Or watch their videos, uh, you know on the internet, but meet them in person. So it's real. It's well worth it Go to aquatic support systems.com for all of your food and fish and shrimp product needs and until next time later